Hello, welcome to Vishwab Books. Today our day 6 topic is below paste method of multiplication. Before going into that topic, we'll, we'll discuss the answers of middle math questions of previous class. So day 5 middle math question. First question was 580 divided by 1000. So which is going to be 580 by 1000. And when you cancel out zeros, it is going to be 0 0.58. Okay. So next one. 4.1 minus 0 0.3 is going to be 3.8. Hmm. Then afterwards, half of 0 0.18 is going to be 0 0.09. I have already told you the divisibility rules. So, I will do in that method. So, I need to divide these two digits by 4. So, 4, 96. So, 4 twos is 8. So, therefore, it is completely divisible by 4. We can do that it is divisible by so you can write S. Yes. Hmm. Next. 1 plus 7 plus 5 minus 9 minus 3 is 1. 3 to the power 4 is nothing but 3 multiplied 4 times. 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 which is going to be 81 right. Hmm. Now the 7th question. You need to know here what is score. Before we did dozens. Now we need to do scores. So one score equals 10. Dozen was 12. So now 5 into 10 will be. So 5 score will be 50. So answer here is 50. 5 into 10 was 50. Okay. Next. Is 84 divisible by 4? You need to divide it and find the answer for this. So, do division. So, 4 twos is 8. Bring down 4. 4 ones is 4. And therefore, our answer is 21. Right? So, write 21. Next. 52 plus 25. Sorry, 52 minus 25 plus 23 is going to 50. Right? Next. <clears throat> Next is double 495. What is the meaning of double? You need to multiply 2 to that number. So, 2 into 495. So, which is going to be 990. Hope you all did it right. Check your answers now. So today's topic. Below this method of multiplication. In this method of multiplication, you need to have both the numbers. Less than a base or below a base. Below a base. In the previous video, we had above base which was here the both numbers should be above a base here just a, the below base so what does this mean so we already know what was base it is number starting from 1 followed by any number of zeros ok so like that so it should be below this number so below this number it should be this or this or this any number. So below the base. So we'll take a first we'll do 2 into 2 multiplication. Okay. 2 into 2 multiplication. So I will start with the example. 
So my example is going to be 98 into 72. So 98 into 72. Write it vertically and leave some gaps between. So now we'll move on the steps also here. So step one, the same uh, same steps are applicable for below base, but a little bit of change will be there. That's all. Okay. Decide the base is the first step everywhere. Decide your base. But that base should be very nearest to these two numbers. If both are not, if both the two numbers are not related nearer to a base, then you could not use this method. So I find the nearest base to be 100. Right? 100. This will be our base. Now, here I have let, left some empty place. So there I need to fill up now. So here, which number I should subtract from the base to get 98? That number must be written here. So if I add some number to this, I will get 100. If I subtract the same number from 100, I will get this. So I found that that number is to be 2. But here you need to be very careful and put minus sign. We need to write minus 2. Okay. Then here. Here from the base when I subtract some number I am going to get 72. So find that number what it is. So I found that number to be 28. So when I add these two, I will get this. When I subtract from this, this part, I will get this. Right? So now, what we should do? Check the... So check the numbers, which one... Subtracted from base gives the original number. Okay, so we found that. Say so step two is also done. So these two are our result where. Now, the step 3 is that follow this operation by like the subtracting from this one or either this one. So, you have two choices. You can do either 98 minus 28 and 72 minus 2. Either ways. So, I found 72 minus 2. Subtraction is easier. Right? Now, Step 3. So step 3 is follow the operation. So here our operation is subtraction. So that's right. Follow subtraction. So what you need to follow? This cross by subtraction only you need to do. That's what you need to follow there. Then, afterwards, you need to do one of the subst uh, subtraction. 72 minus 2. I am taking that one. So, when I subtract that, here I have minus sign. 72 minus 2 is 70. Okay. Now, I need to put a slash. Because this part is over, right? Now that part I need to do. Okay? Then, our step 4 is you need to multiply these two. 
Okay, now we'll write that. Multiply the other two. Little bit multiply. Hope you all are putting the points. Now multiply these two. It is 56. So our answer is going to be 7056. But if you have here more than two digits, then you need to carry it to the left side. So then the number of zeros in the base must be equal to the number of digits in the second part of our answer. 3 into 3 multiplication. Hmm. So 3 into 3 multiplication is also the same. We'll directly move on to an example. First example which I am going to take is 993 into 789. So these are three digits. So three into three digits. I got all the digits now. Now the same steps. That's why I didn't drop any of the steps. Hmm? Now write it vertically first. Put multiplication symbol and make a beginning. Now, decide your base. Let's do that. So, I have three digits, three zeros, hmm? followed by one. So, this will be our base. Now, we need to subtract ten, a thousand from thousand, this 993, which is going to be. Minus 0, 0, 007. Why have I written 0, 0, 007? Because I need to have all the digits equal. In the first class, we discussed that base and complement, right? I told that rule. Number of digits in the number must be equal to the number of digits in the complement. And the number of zeros in the base must be the same. These three should be same. I have already uh, intimated to you. Next. 1000 minus 789 because from some number we are subtracting that's why we are getting this number. So that answer we need to get which is going to be 211. Right? We need to put minus because we need to follow that operation. Now, our step 2 is also over. Check the numbers which when subtracted from base gives you the original number. So if I subtract 1000 minus 7, it is going to be 993. When I subtract 1000 and 211, it is going to be 789. Now, we will move on to the third step. We need to follow the subtraction. So either ways, I told you just now, you can sub uh, subtract from here. Or else, the other way around. But you need to subtract it cross. So we have two ways. One is 993 minus 211. Other one is 789 minus 007. Why we have two ways here? Because when you subtract from both, the answer is going to be only one. So this answer will be only one. So that answer is 782. Okay, we'll write that clearly. So the first part answer is 782. So now we'll move on to the second part. You need to just multiply these two. This sign is 211 into 7, which is going to be 1477. So just now I have told you that the number of zeros in the base must be number of digits in the second part. But I have one digit extra. 
So I need to just send that the other side. So it will become 782 plus 1. I want to mention but uh, for convenience I am mentioning 783 slash 477. Therefore our answer is found to be 783. You need to just remove the slash now. So that is going to be our answer. Hope you all found that method was easier. Now we'll move on to metal math questions. Okay. The first one is 12 minus 7 into 8. Second one is 9 into 99. Third one is 5600 divided by 70. Fourth one, find the product of 19 and 5. So 19 into 5. Fifth one is 27 plus 29 minus 5. Sixth one is 5, 6. 5, 6 of 35 gram. Seventh one is 2.5 plus 0 0.7. 8th one, 8% of 500 millimeter. 9th one is, this, 19 a factor of, Fifty-seven. Tenth one. Roughly. What is one zero nine into forty-two? So hope you all found hope you all found this interesting. So if you like our video, do like, share and subscribe to Vishwablooms. Keep watching Vedic Math classes. Thank you.